Hi, hey, ho everyone, my name's Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to our randomized Heart Gold Nuzlocke run. If you didn't watch the last episode, tragedy struck the Let's Play. As I'll be honest, really early on, we got completely wiped. We blacked out. And as many of you pointed out, and as I'd come to realize, we just gotta take that L. We gotta hold that L. I honestly, of all the ways I thought I'd lose, didn't think it would be Dragon Rage against the entire team that nobody could tank a, a Dragon Rage. A lot of people brought up I should have used Silver and Leaf Stormed. I actually went back to try it because I didn't think it would work, and it doesn't work. The thing is, it reduces your special attack. So the first one got Garchomp a little below half, but then the second Leaf Storm didn't even do like a third of his health, and we got wiped. So that wouldn't have changed. Like, there was no way around it. Our only option was uh, Drellin, as we all know. He has Sturdy. So, normally he could survive a one-shot, but I believe in this gen, it only works against one-shots and Dragon Rage overrides Sturdy. Otherwise, he could have copycatted the Dragon Rage, and we actually would have uh, been clutch, but no, that wasn't. So, long story short is, um, that's just kind of life. And so, when it first happened, I was honestly, like you can see in the video, I was just defeated. I was so upset because the thing is like if we if we lose the lock like halfway in or like a little more after halfway something like that it would have been fine i would have totally been like this sucks but i understand and then the thing is i would have wanted to then if we do another nuzlocke and people want it we would do like another game or something after this but <laughs> there's really only three episodes minus the choose your starter and we didn't get very far so that that's probably why at first it hurt the most, but then I realized, you know what, this episode, we're gonna try and get back to where we were. I'm gonna use the speed up option a little bit, but honestly, for me, it's not worst case. Honestly, I'm kind of more excited because you get a lot of encounters early on, and my favorite part is the randomized part of it, and now everything is re-randomized, so we don't know what we're gonna get this time around. It's kind of like Christmas again, except I know I killed seven Pokemon. Ah, jeez. The worst part, too, is somebody pointed out, I let Drillin die abusing him you know he thought he was a worthless pokemon poor guy it's just you know so i'm gonna you know i've learned i'm gonna treat every pokemon with love and respect and with that said let me go ahead and show you guys our brand new starters so the thing is these got re-randomized and instead of doing just a whole other choose your own starter so that we can just get straight back into it i loaded it up see what we got put it on twitter did a poll and then whoever won that one will be part of the lock. So you'll see here, our first option, Munchlax, the normal type Pokemon. Salamence, the dragon type Pokemon. And Kabuto, the rock type Pokemon. So which one of these could possibly win the poll? I wonder, Salamence, welcome to the team, my friend. This time around, one of my favorite comments was like, guys, please just choose Salamence so we don't screw him over again. Larvitar was a challenge, let's say that way. Salamence, however, I think is going to be less of a challenge, which is a good thing at the very beginning. Honestly, I just want to... <laughs> I know what to look out for. I just want to get all my Pokemon to above 40 HP and then and then go on from there. But Salamence, welcome to the team, buddy. Oh, he looks so sick behind us, too. I'm perfectly, perfectly okay with having a bit of a strong Pokemon right now because, like, imagine this was the last playthrough. Imagine instead of Salamence, we had a Bagon. You know, if if Larvitar last time had been Tyranitar instead, oh, I would have been way on board. Things would have probably been a little bit different, too. Now we have Salamence. I am going to give the Salamence a nickname, and I'm actually going to name him Prism, because when I did the poll, somebody's like, you should do Salamence and name him Dragon Rage. <laughs> Triggered. I am forever going to hate that move from now on. I will never... Flashbacks every time I'm going to see that move. And um, I thought it was so funny. It made me laugh a whole bunch. So I decided to go with his username. I'm not going to name it Dragon Rage in honor of all my fallen Pokemon. You'll never be forgotten. And honestly, I'm not that upset. We got some pretty doo-doo encounters. Let's be honest. Drellin could have been a Garchomp. We could have had a Garchomp with Dragon Rage ourselves. So Prism, the female Salamence, is Prism the nickname you want to give? Yes. Prism shall lead us to victory. God, I hope so. So I'm going to try and do my best here to just zip through most of this stuff. Because normally I could just grind right back to where we were. But half of the fun of a Nuzlocke, I think, is seeing all the encounters. And we got a lot, so I don't want to skip that. So uh, Prism 
already knows headbutt. Interesting. So Prism knows rage, bite, leer, and headbutt. Okay. Headbutt's pretty strong to boot. Bite is a, a different type of attack, so that'll help. Um, rage. I doubt I'll ever use that. Same with leer. Uh, lowers the foe's attack stat, so Intimidate, that's immediately pretty good. He's decently fast. Got a whole bunch of attack, too. Oh, yeah, Dragon Flying, we're gonna be eaten. We gotta avoid Ice types, obviously. But, uh, besides that, mm -mm -mm, we are gonna be looking good. We got some potions. Sick. Now, uh, for the most part, I don't care what you have to tell me. Because, honestly, even after this one, like... After doing these videos, like, I mentioned how much fun I have doing them. I wasn't exaggerating. I could probably do these videos for the rest of my life and be happy. I just think they're so much fun for some reason. Um, do you remember how? Yes, you're gonna tell me anyway. No, I don't, I don't have anything to tell you. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see. The, the nice thing, too, about this channel is I don't have to worry so much about the analytics and stuff. Obviously, it doesn't do as well as my first channel, but the fact that I have still so many of you watching... And uh, enjoying the series warms my heart. Now, let's see what a possible encounter would be when we have a Pokeball. <laughs> How ironic. Shellgun. Well, in this case, if this was our encounter, we could uh, go for Species Claws. And we would be able to get a different encounter. Uh, but that's rather ironic, isn't it? So let's headbutt this guy. Shoo-ba-doo-boo. Get out of my face. So I do want to... And obviously, when we catch up, probably next episode, hopefully... We won't be, uh, Azumarill, interesting. We won't be speeding up, like, at all, really. It's just to try and catch back up where we are. Because that's the other thing, too, is I, I was hesitant to restart the lock, because I was like, man, people who are already watching, who, like, on the fence about the series, maybe they're like, ah, oh, you're stupid. And then, like, they see me restarting, and they're like, all right, well, that's it. I'm out, you know? And I didn't want that to have, have to happen. Um, but, hey, we'll find out one way or another who sticks around. Uh, whoever does, I love you. I see you out there. Also, what I did this time is I have, uh, I went through the comments of the last video and automatically just, uh, wrote down some names, so instead of having to look through a video, I'll be able to... <laughs> Can you imagine? Could you? Oh, man, think about that. Oh. If we had, if... Oh, that'd be amazing, too, because the starter we didn't get last Let's Play, and then a Salamance Typhlosion, yo, we would be eaten. I don't even know if I'd level other people. Like, could you imagine? Oh, my gosh, Typhlosion, I hope to see you in a little bit, buddy. So I have to be careful not to, uh, raise our Salamance too high here. I don't think a bite would kill him, even if I'm, like, level 7. I think we'll be fine. Oh, good to see you again, buddy. Just teasing me at this point, aren't you? You little rascal. Please be a part of my team. Uh, so let's just see how much a bite does at level 6. Ooh. Honestly, we might. Ooh. Okay, don't hit level 8 by the time I get to this encounter. If it's a level 2 Typhlosion, we might have a bit of an issue. Wow, God, Typhlosion gives you so much XP too. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to probably have to run from... Yeah, let's just avoid fights for right now. We got to talk to the shoot, man! Let's just get through this as fast as possible, buddy. Yep. There's the Pokemon trying to get through there. There's the Pokemon mind. You're gonna need to get some stuff like some potions, which you should totally use so that you don't lose your Yanma like you said you were gonna do. I miss you, Royal. I'm just an old man. Here, take this. Here's the sick. Now we're even faster. Oh, wait, let me heal up real quick. Even though the lock hasn't started, might as well. Um. Also, somebody thought that I had, like, I accidentally put on, like, a 100% in catch rate or anything. Have not messed with any of that stuff. That is none of the... And, it, like, there's not even options for that. So it's not like I accidentally did it. Let's see what we could get on Route 30. I'm already down. I'm already down. I'm down the clown. It's it's not Bond's life. Drellin, listen, buddy. I know what you're thinking. Do I even... I still have to fight my rival, so honestly, I think we just run. Because I don't want to hit 8. I want to be able to catch whatever the fudge we're going to be catching. Because if we go up against a Typhlosion and I knock it out, oh my gosh, I cannot even begin to describe to you how tilted I would be. <sighs> I'm still, I'm, I'll be honest, still a little salty about what happened. Oh, I don't even think I grabbed the item back there. No, I did. A Helix Fossil. Okay. 
Fair enough. The interesting thing too is I think even when we turn the Helix Fossil in, it should um, be a random Pokemon still. So it's not for sure to be whatever the fossil would make it. Ba -ba -da -dum -bum -ba -da -da -da. A seal! Interesting. Okay, so far I haven't really seen one Pokemon where I'm like, really? Like, uh, I'd rather avoid you. So far it, it's pretty balanced, I'd say. Pretty fair. Yes, yes, yes. Ba -ba -ba. Give me the mystery egg. Professor Oak. He's cool. Get healed. Yo, take this Pokedex. Do all the hard work for me. I study Pokemon, but I'm too lazy to study them myself. I need someone else to do it and gather all the data for me. So really, I'm just a statistician. Okay, with that said, we got to take this phone call. Blah, blah. Okay, get out of there. Grab one of these Apricorns. Somebody was like, you know what? To make it better, you could uh, do some different like rules and limit yourself elsewhere and not randomize it. Girl, please. My favorite part. Oh! Wow. wow. All of our starters or the lines of the starters make an appearance in the first two routes. I actually would not be against Munchlax. So I was actually not... I wasn't going to be upset. Oh, don't kill this thing, right? If somebody had chosen Munchlax, because one only has one weakness times two to fighting. That's not bad. Okay. Voltorb I don't want. I know we had a Voltorb before, but I wasn't attached to you then, and I'm not going to be attached to you now. Also, your moveset is doo-doo. Half of the stuff you learn is also explosion and um, self-destruct. Moves I can't even use. So, yeah, if we could avoid that. Honestly, this route is, uh, meh. Granbull and Seal, so far from what I've seen, is what I think we'd be shooting for here. Yes, yes, yes. Intimidate you, blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. So many Pokemon. Yeah, we don't want the Voltorb. Oh, and Munchlax, I guess. The only problem is I, I'm pretty sure Munchlax's moveset is pretty doo-doo. Pretty confident about that one. I don't, I don't think I took any damage, but whatever. About to fight my rival. Might as well double check. Ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da -da. Oh, hey, Rob. How's it going? Okay, now let's see what starter he got. Munchlax. That is okay with me. He's abusive to his Pokemon, so I don't think he'll ever reach max friendship and be able to evolve it. Because that's the other thing. Snorlax? Freaking sick Pokemon. Uh, half damage and flinched prism already coming in, yuch! Oh my gosh, it feels right. Oh, it's obviously going to make things a little bit easier than a Larvitar. Um, but, you know, bear with me. If he does, in fact, just become like this huge powerhouse, I'm gonna be careful with him, and I'm not I'm not just gonna like sling him around all the time. I'll try and make it as balanced as possible. Blah blah blah, I don't know what he said. Oh, I saw his name, that's right. Oh my identity! Whoa! Oh, I thought we made it through Scott Free. Oh, Typhlosion, Typhlosion. Okay, I'm actually mm, Let me do this. Let me let me do a bite. Okay. No. I think he's gonna level up. Don't level up, don't level up, don't level up, don't level up. Yes, okay. I was checking to make sure if we would one shot it with a bite. I don't think so, but I swear if that was our Typhlosion and we crit it. Don't do me like this game. Don't do me like this. We've also seen so many Typhlosion. So I swear to God, if the one encounter we get is not a Typhlosion. Um, so Rob makes his return. I guess Rob won the last lock, I guess. Because I, I did. Even though I beat him once, so it's not very fair. Yes, yes, yes. I see Sarabi. Thank you, thank you. Assignment. Hey, whoa, look at this. Uh, the, an egg. Wow, he loves his egg. Uh, you got a Pokedex. Uh, sick. Go catch, catch a ball. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, be, be, beat them all. I don't remember if I have to talk to my mom. I don't think so. Nope, I think I just go get my Pokeballs. All right, so this encounter is also randomized again. Let's see what she finds. Oh, well, I forgot to show you. Okay, let's see. A Diglett. She has Eradicate. Well, I'm not exactly sad about it. Okay, that's fine. Catch it. I know, listen, I know what to do. I'm a Pokemon master. Even though I've had to bury a lot more Pokemon bodies than I, I like to admit. Okay. <sighs> Come on, Typhlosion. 
First encounter is, come on, come on, come on, come on. What? No! But what about Typhlosion? I don't understand. It's like all I saw and you're gonna give me a Goldeen, not even the Azumarill, you're gonna give me the Goldeen for my water? Ah! I guess I do have a Salamance. Typhlosion would be OP. Yo, screw me if I wanted to. God, that sucks. Whatever. I'm gonna bite you. And I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be happy about it. God. Oh, flinch. Nice. Okay, let's just go ahead and use a Pokeball. Shouldn't be that difficult to catch this Goldeen. Come on. I'm always gonna remember you as could have been Typhlosion. But I'm still gonna love you. You're still a water type, which is helpful. You might even have a water attack. It's dorsal, pectoral, and tail fins wave elegantly in water. That is why it is known as the Water Dancer. Thank you. Give a nickname to the Cot Goldeen. Now this is a female Goldeen. I went ahead and picked out a few female names we had found. One was Midnight Ivy. Thank you very much for the comment, Midnight. But because of that, we're gonna name this Goldeen Midnight. Goldeen, 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 Goldeen. Midnight the Goldeen, all right. Our first addition to the party. Let's check out what you got. I don't want to check the Pokedex. Nope. Look at my Pokemon. You have an item. Old Ghetto. Hmm. Take. Well, I guess I'll take it. Uh, summary. Uh, Peck, Tail Whip, and Water Sport. Okay. Well. I'll take it, I suppose. Look at, look at the stats of just a three-level higher Salamence compared to this Goldeen. Prism is gonna carry us. Please, at this point, I'm fine with it. I swear to God, if this is a Typhlosion. Oh my God, you know what? It, Typhlosion is probably the most common encounter. And we still... Ah! Oh, I'm so upset right now. I am so upset. I should probably also put uh, Goldeen in the front. Get some switch. Uh, experience up in here right now. Should probably do that. God. It's like, it's like when I got Drellin instead of Garchomp. It's like, that's, that's all I remember you as. What you could have been. Which isn't fair to you. We could have gotten a Deoxys and we get Midnight. Oh. What is with Psychic Legendaries at the, the first, uh, First route, what the heck, man? Oh, that stings, though. That stings. Ooh, God. You gonna wrap me? Do it. You won't. Oh, you're gonna get one shot. Get out of my face. I forgot I even had bite, but I'll take it. All right, Goldeen, Goldeen, Goldeen. Whether or not I like it, we've started. Oh, stop it, stop it. You're teasing me at this point. Oh. Wouldn't that, just think of that. Our starting party, Typhlosion Salamance. Like, like, bruh. You know what I'm saying? But again, I'll stop complaining. We're gonna catch what we catch, and we're not gonna throw a fit. Because at the end of the day, I got a Salamance. You guys didn't stick me with Kabuto. So uh, I'm not too upset. Because at first I was like, ooh, Kabutops would be sick. But then I'm like, wait a minute, we have a times four weak guy at the very beginning. Sounds familiar. But like, to grass type, that seems pretty. Yeah, I was like, Kabuto would not make it. And, uh, yeah, so Salamance is obviously uh, a bit of a crutch, but that is fine. After last playthrough, I'm fine. I just want to make it past the first gem where we have enough health that we don't have to worry about the cheese. Because this is what we're going to do. Anytime we probably see a stage one or stage two dragon, we're dipping. I don't care what level it is. Unless I can outspeed it, I'm not going to bother. Because apparently the odds of it having dragon rage is too high for me to care. Like, I don't even want to risk it. Also, I forgot to see. I think this helps with, like... No, what what does this do? Uh, heals all the status problems of a single Pokemon. Oh, sick! I'll take that. Not exactly the the richest guy, so take whatever I can get. Uh, how much do I have any money anyway? Let me see if I can buy some Pokeballs real quick, just in case. Uh, yeah. Let's buy ten. We'll buy what. Uh, oh, I got a premiere ball because of how many I purchased. Sick. And the rest of our money will buy five potions. And remember, even though they're a little expensive and we might be running low on money, if Royal taught us anything, never underestimate. Okay. 
second encounter is hopefully... I don't know. Actually, I don't really care too much. Gramble would be pretty cool. Um, we already have a water type. So not seal is best. Oh, okay. Okay. Best of both worlds. I said I'd be all right with a Munchlax even as a starter. And now we get him as our second encounter. I ain't complaining. I am not complaining. Prism. Bruh. Okay. Munchlax is pretty tanky, right? I actually don't know what your stats are at this level. Bite shouldn't kill you, right? I think so. Let me read up what Rage does in this game again. Let me see here. While this move is in use, it gains attack power each time the user is hit in battle. It doesn't It doesn't st stick me in a loop, does it? I don't remember. It shouldn't. I mean, I, God hopes it doesn't. Nah, I think I get to do it in between. Metronome. Nasty plot. Uh, special attack, sharply rose, that's fine. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I definitely do it. Okay. Honestly, Pokeball might be able to do it. A baby Munchlax, level 3, half health? No. Oh, okay. Wait, so don't hit me. Oh, no, now my rage does more. I should have raged. My rage is building. Fudge. Okay, well, worst case, I can always bring out Goldeen. She certainly won't kill Munchlax. Maybe she'll prove me wrong. She's like, oh, you don't think I'll kill him? And she'll just crit him. Okay, we might have to switch him. And hope that he doesn't metronome him to, like, thunder or something. All right, get out of there, Prism. Go, Midnight. It's your time to shine. <laughs> You're in charge, Midnight. We got a whole team of females, actually, right now. Girl power. Go ahead and peck. Should be pretty negligible. Cool, he's in the... Okay, this is where it gets dicey. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. For some reason, I thought Swift did 20 damage every time. Was that ever in the game? Or was that really early on? I was going to say, and then I saw it had exactly 20 health. My heart dropped again. I was going to be like, no freaking way. Come on. Get in the Pokeball, Munchlax. Be a good little Pokemon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What the fudge? Come on, bruh. I was able to catch a legendary in one go last time. Oh, sweet Jesus. I need to switch back in. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, you're, you're bulky, Prism. We just don't want Midnight to die right now. Tackle. That's fine. That's fine. We're eating that every day. Every day. Please get in the Pokeball. You are being a little difficult right now, buddy. And the last thing I need right now is difficult. Work with me. What the fudge? Use brine? Come on. Come on. Get in the Pokeball, please. One. Two. Three. Fudge! Come on, buddy! I don't have... Listen, I just spent all my money on these Pokeballs, buddy. Fine, fine. You want to be in a Premier Ball? Is that it? Fine. Look. Stylish. Ooh, look at that animation. Don't you want to be in this nice, comfortable Premier Ball? Fudge! Bop. Bob, we, uh, he could Dragon Rage out of this metronome. We need to end this guy's life right now. We need to do this pretty soon. Okay. I think I can Rage once. Can I? Oh, fudge. Munchlax, come on, buddy. One more Pokeball. If he doesn't, we gotta go for the Rage. Come on. Don't be like this. Just get in the Pokeball. Come on. We have to hit him again. Sweet Jesus. I warned you, Munchlax. I warned you. Okay. Nothing out of this metronome. Shadow. That, okay. Yeah, that's... I, for some reason, I thought I said Dragon Claw. But then again, he's level three. It's not Stab. I think we're fine. Okay. Listen, bro. You are living on a prayer. You're a level three Munchlax. Okay? Quit acting like you're a legend. What? This me I'm starting to get scared by metronome. Holy pedal dance. It's a good thing we got freaking prism out. God. Get in the Pokeball. We we actually heard him more and and now he's spending less time in the Pokeball. What is this? Munchlax! Wait, you you used pedal dance? 
Wait, did you use metronome again and get it again? Oh, no! Oh, God! No, stop! No, he's gonna hurt himself! Please! Please, Munchlax! Come on! Just... Get in there, buddy! Yes! 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 Oh, my God! I feel like the final boss was just beat it. Jesus, Munchlax. Giving me... A, I was like, if we lose this one. It conceals food under the long fur on its body. It carts around this food stash and swallows it without chewing. <sighs> Give a nickname to Cop Munchlax. Yes. Okay, this is a male Munchlax. We're going to go with the nickname Pickles. Thank you very much, Gucci Pickles, for your comment and support in the series. Remember to leave a comment and like the video if you want a chance at getting in of being one of our Pokemon that hopefully stays alive. So far, a track record isn't great, but uh, you know what? Things are surely to change. So, what what is our uh, Munchlax? No, it knows. Tackle, Odor Sleuth, and Metronome, right? Not exactly the most stellar lineup, but... Bam. Oh, he has an item. A berry berry. A berry berry. Item. Take. Sure. Ba -da -da -da. Bam. Let's check him out. Yep, metronome, arch the tackle. Alright. I don't actually know what your moveset is. I have no idea what you learned. Could be absolute doo-doo. So <sighs> thinking we just kinda leave Munchlax out to dry for a little while, and in the meantime, level up Goldine and our uh, Salamance. I don't think it's worst case. What cause what I'm gonna do too is by the time we end, I'll grind in between episodes because I probably won't fight Faulkner. I don't need to talk to this guy. And I'm just going to level up everybody. I'm going to grind everybody up. So I'll grind Munchlax up off screen. I mean, it depends on what we do here. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, somebody might die and you might have to take the reins. God forbid. Let's try and get to Faulkner. We could have had an Umbreon. Oh, you're the coolest evolution. Don't tell anybody I said that. Well, actually, you're tied with Jolteon. But, ah! Oh, we could add you. Snorax is cool, but Umbreon's cool, too. Ah, whatever. Let's peck you. Wow, that does no damage. Okay. Just gonna swap you out. A crit. Wow, this Umbreon means business. It's pissed. Like, I wanted to be a Pokemon. But instead, you caught Mudslax. It wasn't my choice, man. Not by my choice. A helping hand. Well, let me know what that does for you, buddy. You're eating this right now. Okay, there we go. Should level both of our Pokemon up. Maybe not. Maybe not Prism. Midnight's level six. I'm just waiting for Goldeen to learn a water attack. Once it knows some stab, you best watch out. Did I? I got all the items too. I keep forget. I just keep running by it. Like, I'm on autopilot right now. Okay, we did grab that item. Okay. God, now I gotta run through all this again. Fudge! It's Munchlax. We don't care. Uh, we're just running from you. Because the other thing, too, is people like, well, you could just grind up a whole bunch. I don't want to grind too much because part of a Nuzlocke that I find to be fun is keeping it, like, kind of on a knife's edge. Because, yeah, you can overlevel yourself and stuff, but where's the fun in that? You know what I mean? Also, I randomized the trainers now, I believe. So this won't be Youngster Joey. This will be... Oh, no. Oh, it's Cop Forest. I guess the sprites don't change. Sent out Lunatone. If only we knew a water type attack. Hopefully, probably doesn't know. Eh, we're fine. Uh, but yeah, so like, I, I don't really want to overlevel because that's just not fun. Like, staying around the same level, that's what we're shooting for. Because I don't also want to be like super under level. That's not what I'm saying. I don't want to make it like super hard. Uh, this might. No. Nah, we got it. I was going to say. He's already pretty defensive. I forgot we had bite. I keep forgetting we had bite. He's gonna come in clutch. Prism's already level nine though. Level nine Salamance. What you know? Yo, level nine Dragon, stage two. Does that remind you of anything? This reminds me, me of something. But guess what? It's on my side now. Also, I guess the time just changed. So now it's like evening. <sighs> yes, you can, you can get my number. I doubt we'll ever fight again, but now you have it. We gotta fight this nerd to this youngster. Well, we'll see what he is exactly. Cop Joe. Oh, they're both cops. You're a good cop. Oh, Heracross. Oh. 
low key, I would do anything for Heracross. Heracross is sick. Heracross is legit. Endure. Okay, well, I don't think uh, Goldeen's gonna be hitting you that hard. Midnight. Wow, actually, Midnight almost did. Oh, you endured the hit. Actually, wow, that would have one hit you. Oh. My apologies, Midnight. My apologies. I didn't know you were gonna go in. Level seven. All right, Midnight's already growing on me. See, you just gotta give a Pokemon some time. You gotta grow, Nidoqueen, oof. You gotta grow like a bond together. And once you do, you're inseparable. You know what I'm saying? Me and Midnight, we're going all the way. Once we get a, a Seeking, you better watch out. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Um, Headbutt's probably better off here. Plus, we get the potential flinch, which we did not get. But you're going to scratch me? Ow, my eyes. Yeah, jeez. Yeah. Get out of my life. Get deleted. Yeah. Screw you, cop. You're a good cop. Uh, I don't want to talk to you. We'll fly this, amiga. Ba -ba 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 -da. Oh! Just thought of this. This is actually huge. Salamance already knows headbutt, which if I'm not mistaken means we can headbutt trees in cities, which gives us an encounter instead of fishing, because we, we can't fish yet. We get it pretty soon, but we can at least see what, what encounters we could possibly get in trees, because I think it'll be set eventually, but so will the, the old rod or whatever, so. That's actually huge. I, I don't know why I remembered it right now and what it seems to be such a random time. Wait, wait. Midnight knows Supersonic. You didn't know Supersonic that whole time. Did you just learn Supersonic? Come on, Midnight. I need you to learn a water type attack. I'll look at this, though. Midnight's not confused. She knows what she's fine. Ooh. That's kind of scary. Defense harshly fell. I think we're fine. Snapped out of confusion. Of course we're fine. I gambled a little bit there. Or maybe not. Maybe Crobat doesn't even know an offensive move yet. I wouldn't mind a Crobat, though. Bop. Oh, okay. Midnight's going in. You don't even need a stab move. It's granted, uh, Prism doesn't. But then again, wow, that's a lot of XP. Prism's just Salamance, so you don't really need much right now. Celio. Oh. Celio Ice type? I think you are. Um, I don't think you know an ice type attack, but regardless, I'm gonna keep Midnight in. I think Midnight should be able to take care of you. But an ice type attack does scare me right now. You might be Water Ice, honestly. Encore, that's fine. I'll keep pecking you. That oh my, yeah, eat it. Mm. Yeah, you regret it now. Oh, it doesn't even, doesn't seem to know much effective moves anyway. Okay, get out of here. That's why I also wanted Typhlosion, because I was like, ooh, an Ice-type Pokemon. Typhlosion will be able to combat that. Currently not, but that's fine. <sighs> okay. oh, I'm getting a call from my mom. Hello? Um, I wish you would, what about your money? Should I save it? We told her not to last time. She could give us random items. Um, save my money. All right, we'll give you a little slice, because I'm interested to see what items we could randomly get from her. Uh, it's honestly a toss-up. Oh, oh, wait, oh, new encounter! I forget every time! <laughs> this is, this, this has to be a joke. This has to be a joke. Didn't we encounter Yanma as our first encounter in this same exact route? I know what I'm naming it. I know what I'm naming it. I bet you can't guess. Royal's back, baby. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what? I, I'll be honest. I would. I wouldn't have minded somebody else right now. But I'll take you in. Sure. Sure. I. I did. I, I wait. I missed. Okay. Well. Fine. Screw this. Get in my Pokeball. Oh, I only have five Pokeballs. Yeah. I forgot we'd have another encounter here. Otherwise, I probably would have refilled. This might just do the trick, though. That's right. You know when people say, like, I'll see you in another life? Royal died, but we're in another life now. And we, we found each other again. Oh, what a beautiful reunion. Oh, buddy, it's so good to have you back. Give a, give a nickname to the cot, Yanma. Oh, you know it. You know it. Oh. You are back and looking good as ever, my friend. 
I promise this time I will use that potion. I will not let the same mistake be made again. Please don't show me some really cool Pokemon. Yanma, no! Royal, we could have had a Piplup? As nice as that reunion was, a Piplup? I would have literally boxed Yanma and Goldeen just to have Piplup. Oh, the possibilities. Darn it. Whatever. Uh, I'm just going to try and get through this real quick. I don't think you know anything that can mess me up. Nope. Okay. Do we want to switch now? We, we got a level 8 and a level 9, right? Do we want to give Royal some attention again? It's up for debate. Let me, let me get... Uh... Oh, wait. I, could, I can get an encounter in here, though, can I? Last time I just avoided it, but I forgot. We can definitely get an encounter. Shoal Salt. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember what half of these items are that we always pick up. Uh, pure salt that was discovered deep inside the shoal cave. It is extremely salty. Okay, I guess I'll give that to my rival, Robbie. Um, what are, what are we looking at? Do you need a potion? I'll give you a potion. Just in case. You never know, Bob. Okay. Now, for our dark cave encounter. Ooh. Survey says... Give me something good, please. Kind of nervous. Come on. Okay. Our encounter is... Yo! I'm not dissing that. Every time I play gold, silver, crystal, heart, gold, soul, silver, doesn't matter, I always catch a Mareep because I always want Ampharos. So, yo, I'm down. Plus an electric type? Okay. Okay. Welcome. Well, hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We might not catch it, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. Also, I just realized I'm staying in with Midnight against it, but I doubt it knows an electric type. Ah, fudge static. Hey, well, that'll be good to have on our team. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, peck, peck it. <coughs> or peck it a little bit more. Of course, we're paralyzed. Why wouldn't we be? Come, come, come on. Okay, that's probably enough. Go Pokeball! We only have a few. I need to stop encountering and get more Pokeballs. Come on, Mareep. Come on! Oh, what a tease! I thought we had it. I was ready to be like, yes! That that was cruel. Okay. Whatever. Let's just peck it one more time. Let's peck it one more time. Paralyzed. What the heck? Also, how does it keep missing so many tackles? God, come on. The full para? Come on. One, one time. One time, please. Come on, Midnight. There you go. There you go. Okay. That's not much more, but hey, we'll take it. I also don't want to risk a crit. Mareep, get on in that ball. I will do dirty, dirty things for you. Come on. Yes. Yes. There we go. Mareep, welcome to the squad. That is a nice addition. You know, compared to our last electric encounter was uh, Voltorb, I will take you Every day. If static electricity builds in its body, its fleece doubles in volume. Touching it will shock you. Give a nickname to the Cotton Reap. Yes. And we're going to name this one <laughs> Baggles. I love that name. So I was like, that needs to be one of our Pokemon. Baggles the Mareep. Welcome to the squad, my friend. Things are already shaping up here, aren't they? Already looking pretty nice here, if I do say so myself. Uh, we're going to take... I don't know. Yeah, I think we have one more in battle. So I'm not going to bother with uh, Midnight all parrot and whatnot. So we're going to give Mareep a little bit of the spotlight. Give it a uh, potion. Um, so what? what is Mareep now? Tackle and... Oh, Jesus. What the fudge is going on here? It keeps doing this from time to time. Hold up. All right, we're back. Now, obviously, this video is going to be a little bit longer than our last one. But again, we got a lot of catching up to do here. So hopefully you understand. I feel like Mareep learns... Like, Thunder Shock or something pretty soon here. At least I thought. It's a lot of Pokemon. Eradicate. Go, Baggles! God, that name. That's fantastic. Oh, God, it literally only knows Tackle. Let's see how much Tackle does. The foes Eradicate. Use Tackle. Um, you know what? That's going to be a slow battle. Slow battle indeed. I uh, should probably 
heal up on Royal, shouldn't I? We're gonna throw him in there. Okay, listen, I know what you're thinking. I'm putting him in danger. This guy only knows tackle. We got 10 health. I think we're fine. I'll use a potion. God, I thought, I was like, what if it crits right there? I'm gonna look like, I'm gonna look so dumb. And I'm gonna literally let the exact same thing happen to Royal. God, if Royal dies in the exact same way, that would suck so much. Royal is not, Yam is such a cool Pokemon. I don't know what I'm saying, and Yen Mega? No, no, screw you, Piplup. I was lying the whole time. I want my Yamma, man. And I will have my Yamma. Yeah, you get that tackle, boy, let's go. Oh, defense lowering is kind of unfortunate because we got three more Pokemon to fight. Oh, and he misses. Okay, bro. Listen, I know you're you're fat. You're fast AF right now. Ah, not fast enough for that quick attack. Come on, buddy. Which I think in one more level you were in quick attack. So I doubt this level two eradicate is going to level you up. But if you're feeling like it, oh no! Plus we split XP. I forgot. Whoops. Yeah, that ain't happening. Mining. That is my cue to dip on out of here. Uh, Baggles, you know what? This is your time to shine. You resist if it has any electric. Plus, uh, you'll just tackle it to death. You can't even... I'm pretty sure. I mean, it, in current gens, you can't get hurt by static. But you can just get thunder waved. Rip! That's fine. We were, uh, Evidently, we were already slower. In it. God, wow. Oh, and you're lowering my attack? Okay, listen, Baggles. I'm not, I'm not looking to sit here forever. Actually, hold on. Let's see. You know what? I don't think it has an offensive attack. So, yeah, we're going to be here a little while. You can't lower it anymore, you nerd. Baggles coming in huge right now. Yo, Baggles getting it. Level 5, Kachuga. Thank God for that speed up. And we learn Growl. Sick. Whoa, Baggles. Girl, you crit. Or, sorry, you're not a girl. A scissor? Where do I get one of those? Sign me up. What do we want to do? Uh, uh, we'll go with Prism. Prism, get back out of here. Just getting a, an easy W here real quick. So sick, though. Oh, I want one. It's in the game somewhere, so maybe we'll encounter it at some point. Or a Scyther, that's fine by me. Bullet punch. You don't say. Get my face, boy! Alright, last Pokemon. You've had a pretty, pretty, pretty sick party. I'll give you that, Zubat. Well, that's about more on par. Um, who do we think can take care of this one? Bagels is already paralyzed. Let, let's give it to Royal. Let's give it to Royal. I doubt the Zubat knows anything. Probably just Tackle. It might know Astonish, which is a little annoying. But uh, this is... Royal's time to shine. He's back, and he's better than ever. Almost. Mm, that's a little annoying. It probably does, like, negligible damage. Yeah, one damage. And that's a crit, I was going to say. Technically, we resist it. Double, so. Fortunately, you don't two-shot, but I guess... Oh! It doesn't matter because he's paying it back twofold. Royal's like, I'm not getting killed by a crit this time. I'm critting people. We out here critting boys. You're awesome, I like you. Yes, yes, you can have my number, okay? God. Better give me some cool fights and items later, okay? God. Oh, I forgot to check my Pokemon, too. Did they even have held items? No. Okay, so it's just the first two we caught. Because I did randomize if they have a held item on them, what it will be. But, um... Obviously, they didn't have any. We just got lucky with our first two catches. Oh! You know what I was saying, Royal, about how sick you are? Chikorita's kind of cooler. Oh, Chikorita, I always chose that as my starter. I know what you're thinking. Why would you? You've got Cyndaquil and... <laughs> I forgot his name for a second. Totodile. You're right. But I always love the grass starters. But the, the th my favorite thing about the first two gens, even the first three, all the starters, it didn't matter. Like, I love them all equally. They're just all super sick. Um, this might take a little while. Let me just... Oh my god. Baggles going in. Ba 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 oh, Jesus. I was going to say, Baggles, you need to land a hit? Look at that. Paralyzed, doesn't even care, almost levels up. I did not realize how fast um, you you level up there, buddy. A Golbat. Ooh. 
It would have sucked to have two Pokemon that needed friendship level up, though. I'm gonna switch this out just so we can get a level 7 Bagels. Um, I'll let... No. Do I even want to risk it? I mean, what is the worst thing it could have? Though? I think Midnight should be able to go. Get on out here at Midnight! Screech. Defense harshly fell. Ooh, that's a little scary. Supersonic. And I'm paralyzed. Well, sweet baby Jesus. Okay, well, screw that. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna worry with that. Midnight is a mess right now. So we're just gonna reset and throw Prism out there. Yeah, get your attack reduced. Lower my defense. That's fine. I'll one shot you, scrub. Check it. He's almost level ten too. Prism's gonna put in so much work. Yeah, get out of here, mate. Bagels grew to level seven. Still not Thundershock. Jeez. The the difference between how fast Bagels gets levels and Prism gets levels is rather astonishing. Thanks for that versus recorder. You cool girl, you cool. Now let me heal up here real quick. Ba -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Jeez, we're already almost at 50 minutes. This will be like an hour long episode. I guess uh, for those that like the series, you know, you're getting your wish. It's all because- oh, uh, I did- I think I actually randomized the trades now, so let's see what this guy wants this time. What? Still didn't randomize. I don't- I know I clicked the option this time, so I, I don't know why, why that is. That's weird. Okay, wait, let me check my Pokemon here. We have a lot of options. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get some of my encounters. We're gonna get this one right down here. We're gonna we're almost, we're gonna have too many Pokemon because that's the thing. We need to figure out who we're keeping and who we're boxing right now. Because I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean to be fair, I'm kind of I'm kind of digging our party right now. Uh, but there's always a chance we get something super dope and it becomes pretty obvious that we'll switch. Survey says, Vigoroth. Okay. I'll, I'll take you. I don't know if I'm going to add you to the team. Especially since we already have a normal type. Although, I don't want a slacking. Nah, not real. I'm not. I'm not too, too about it. But I will still try and catch you, because God knows we might need you in the future. You're level 6, though. That's... You're up there. Okay. Um, midnight, do it to it. I guess I could have put out Salamence. Prism. Focus energy. Okay. Well, what if I supersonic you and the attack missed? Fudge! Now we gotta encore that? <laughs> Darn it. And the attack missed. And now we're scratched. It's only four damage. Attack missed again. Midnight. Let's have a little, little sesh. There you go. We needed that. Now we just gotta hope he hurts himself. Survey says. Nice! Oh, that did nothing. But, oh, I'm still encored? And he snap. Oh, uproar. Okay, you're getting out of here, midnight. Screw that. Whoo! Screw that. Nope. We are going to prism. Prism is our rock, our foundation, our pillar. We lean on him when we need him most. Right now, we need him. Now I'm not too scared. Yeah. See, the uproar does like nothing to us. We laugh in the face of his uproar. This shouldn't kill him. Didn't want that encounter anyway, Prism. Prism's a little too strong. Really, you crit him, Prism? You crit him? Really? You crit him? I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I can't, okay, I can't go past her. Blah, 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 blah. God, that sucks. All right, we'll go back into this cave real quick. That's a drag. I don't think I need to use a potion on anyone. Could on midnight. Nah, I don't think we'll use them anyway. All right, give us something good. They're not a Voltorb. Honestly, anything's pretty much an upgrade from there. The game is proving me wrong. Coughing. Coughing. Well, let's at least try and Catch him first off, Jesus. Bagels, you do next to nothing, buddy. Okay. Oh, and just as I say that, the crit. Oh, we're poisoned? Well, screw that. 
I forgot to buy more Pokeballs. How did I forget to do that? Please get inside that Pokeball. Yes! Okay. Coughing was caught. We needed that. Nice. All right. Makes up for the Vigoroth. We kind of... Give a nickname to the Cod Coffin. It's another female. Silvire Myth. Thank you very much for the comment and your support. We're going to name this Coffin Silvire. Very reminiscent of Silver. Rip. Rest in peace. Gone but not forgotten. Uh, don't know that I'm going to be trying to add Coffin to our party here. I got to watch out for this stupid poison. Knowing my luck, Mareep's going to die from it. Okay, we're okay for now. What are you at? 11. I really don't want to have to use an antidote on you. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Right? Let me make sure I'm not... Okay. Jesus. 4. 3. Okay. Still cutting it a little close there, but... Thankfully, poison can't randomly crit. All right, that should be enough to get us back. 22, 21, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We are cutting it close. Three. Oh, God. All right, that was a bit risky. I really didn't want to have to use another potion. Maybe a little greedy if, if we had lost bagels like that. Honestly, bagels... Like, the top three, I think, well, and then there's Royal. See, I think we just got a solid squad all around. Minus Silvire. Not that I don't love you. We also haven't shown Pickles much love. But again, when we grind in between rounds, whatever's in our party at the time, we're going to be rocking. I think that's the last encounter besides Bellsprout Tower. I don't think we can catch anything here yet. Uh, Route 36. Yeah, no. Okay. So, let's see what encounter we get in Bellsprout Tower. But we also got to fight our way through Bellsprout Tower. Just kind of trying to get uh, our Mareep up till it learns electric and then probably level up Yanma. Do I want to lose Yanma in the same place we lost him before? That would be heartbreaking. See, I'm not sure which floor, though, gives us the encounter. Because I always thought it was any of these. Minus the base floor. But we're sure not finding anything. All right, what you got? I ain't scared. Rich girl Donna. I'm a rich girl monk. Cray Dilly. Okay. That's respectable. Respectable. You're grass rock, aren't you? So maybe we don't go out to midnight. Royal. No. Could have a rock move. I doubt it, though. But do I really want to risk it? But then that doesn't leave us many good options here. Now, does it, Bob? It's just Baggles. Let's see how much a tackle from Baggles does. We'll scout out the Cray Dilly's moveset. It's not worst case. In grain. Oh, screw this, dude. We're going to be here forever. Hold on. And it knows acid. Yeah, it's, that's not happening. Key, let's switch. So, acid. Okay, so then Midnight should be able to handle this. Unless it's been hiding its ace move from me. Then, heaven be with us. Just don't poison me. That's all I'm asking for. Yes, yes, yes. You in grain. Blah, blah, blah. Get pecked, bruh. Eh, get out of my face. Baggles grew to level 8. Did not learn Thundershock still. Okay. Totally forgot when it does. But it seems like forever. Midnight also doesn't learn a water type move, which is tragic. Spiro. Mm -hmm. Baggles, I guess. Right? Sure. I'm going to be grinding these guys out too, so it's not that big of a deal. If we don't get somebody... Up to par. Look at Baggles just, just going in right now. Polytope, that's sick. Um, we got it. Whenever we, Bubble Beam did a lot of damage. Hold on. I did eight damage. You are one crit away from dying. I am not. I am not letting you go out like that. Midnight should be able to tank this. Oh yeah. Midnight's eating that. Midnight loves that. Midnight eats it for breakfast. There we go. Baggles still didn't learn. I move. Baggles, what the fudge, bro? I love you. And and here we are again. I'm just I'm walking black square. The fudge. Come on, Baggles. For all of us. Learn an electric type move. Or give me a big pearl. 
I can sell that. Screw it. I'll take that. What you got? The other guy had some pretty fierce Pokemon, to be fair. We haven't ran into the legendaries, though. Youngster Joey didn't have a Moltres. Rich girl Wellington. Oh my god. Okay, another steel type. We resist the electric, though, so let's see what they have. Metal sound. Thundershock. Ooh. Seven damage with resistance. Prism. It's up to you, buddy. He resists all your attacks, too, but we don't have much of an option. Is that is this special defense? It is. That's why it did so much damage. All right, you're going to have to flinch it. Nope, not quite. Oh, oh, you did flinch him. Sick. Nicely done, Prism. Can always trust in you. It's probably a lot of XP, too. At least for Bagels. Yeah, Bagels loves that. Gloom. Sure, we'll go back. That's fine by me. Nice thing too is Bagels only has, what, one weakness, right? Ground? It's nice not having seven different things to worry about. Pork chop, I missed you, but buddy, you were a headache. Come on, Bagels. If you are if you don't learn it by level 10, I'm switching it out. Well, I guess I'm switching it. Hey! Bagels with the clutch Thundershock, Lauren. Sick, buddy. Nice moves. Now let's try and get uh, Midnight up to 10. That'll have us at three Pokemon at 10. We'll grind out the others eventually, but I'd also like to see a water move from you. Then we've got a lot of things starting to get covered, which is nice. Oh, the crit midnight. You are trying to win my heart. You're like, listen, I've been in that Pokeball for too long. That's the last time you won't, you're going to ever do that to me. And I'm like, all right, girl. All right, sorry. Now let's get an encounter here, why don't we? But first, a Master Ball, Dread Plate. God, it's all these plates, man. <sighs> what have we gotten recently? Big Pearl, right? And boost the power of Dark-type moves. Well, actually, I, 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 mean, I guess... Literally, there's no reason not to, I suppose. I'll, um... I'll give it for uh, Prism's Bite for now, because I'm not going to be using anything else. So might as well. It's not like we have a better alternative. Oh, I forgot to switch out... Bagels. Darn it. That's right. He's just, he just wants to show off that new Thundershot. It's a hop up. Actually, we're going to swap out. We're going... Well, swapping out and EXP sharing and a hop up is going to give everybody about next to none. But Midnight's rearing to go. This battle should give Midnight up to 10. Which... It only knows Splash, evidently. Which should give us... Uh, I'm hoping it gives us a water move. Reggie Steel. Why did I have to say we haven't seen a legendary Pokemon? Uh, also, it is becoming painfully apparent that we have nothing against Steel type right now. Not a whole lot. All right, Prism. Show off that new Dread Plate, buddy. Terrifying. It's only level three, though. Thank God. Flinch him. Do it for the kids. Oh my gosh, Prism! I knew I loved you for a reason. Prism's killing it right now. Absolutely killing it. It's a lot of XP for a level three. Uh, about to send in Ditto. Um, yeah, sure. We can do Royal. Let's tackle each other. That's fine by me. Sure. Plus we should have uh, the speed advantage as well. I know I said I was going to level up our Goldeen, but our Yanma hasn't been seeing much action. Our Royal. Our revived Royal. I should have done Royal with two t two L's. That's what I should have done. That would have been much more clever. Because how are you faster than me? Wait, what? What? And you did... What the fudge? Come on, Royal. You're going to let this Ditto really just do this to you? Come on, buddy. Hey, get out of my face. Hey, Royal leveled up. I think he gets a quick attack here. Yeah, he did. He does. If I'm not mistaken. This is where we lost him. I'm not. And in this tower, this is not a coincidence. I am not going to let it happen. Do I not get an encounter here? No, we do. Oh, okay. Our encounter for the tower is under different circumstances. 
maybe I would have been excited, but bro, look at my bagels, okay? On top of that, another friendship Pokemon. Getting a lot of friendship level ups here, or potentials. Uh, do you know an electric type? That's actually pretty likely. I am not risking it on Royal. Well, we'll just throw out Prism, which I guess at that point we probably could have just run, because there's not too much point in a level on those guys up. Plus, it was a baby Pokemon, so. What else could we have gotten? Giraffe Rig? Okay, I'm not, I'm not super upset we missed out on that one either. Let's use Thundershock, though, just to get... I, I need to swap you out of my starter. I keep forgetting to do that. Ooh! Oh, it's a crit. I was about to say, like, mm -mm -mm. special attack is crazy. Level 11, Bagless is officially our carry. Bagless is officially our ace. Speaking of which, do we have anyone with 40 HP? Totally forgot about that. Prism's close. We might need to level up Prism here. Just so that we have that security blanket. I would be all right with that. Because that is frightening. Soda pop. Uh, do you need it, Midnight? Eh, well, I'll give you a potion. You're going to be putting in a little bit of work here for us. Don't want to see you fall. Which would be tragic. So, I, that's just what I can't tell. Like, I don't know if Garchomp, if that was his egg move, where he learned Dragon Rage. That would be my luck, but... Rich girl Malka, Electivire. See, now if Alakid was Electivire, I might have said screw you to Bagels, but was not. And of course, see, now this is a good time for us to use Prism. Thundershock. Nope, Midnight ain't gonna have none of that. No, Prism's here to eat it up for us. Which I don't know, I don't know how much this boosts dart type attacks. So I'm not sure if Headbutt or Bite is now the better move to use. I feel like it would still be headbutt, but this has more PP. So, we'll use this in the meantime. A crit just for style points. Midnight grew a whole bunch of XP. Did not learn a water type, though. Feels bad. Prism's close to leveling up, though. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so you're already level 10. Oh, this is right where it happened. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, Royal. This is you, buddy. You're already a little weak. I imagine I'm just gonna switch XP train you. We're using so many potions. <sighs> okay, I know, I know, I know. Mr. Fruit, use it, but I'm not, I'm not. Oh, we could add a Lunatone. That would have actually been pretty cool. Uh, Royal, glad to have you, but uh, I'm gonna throw Prism. This might actually put Prism at level 11. So on the off chance that any of these guys have a dragon with dragon rage, we'll be good to go. That's right. Confuse me all you want. Which, I guess, actually, that's that's not true. I'd have to heal Prism first. I'm not that worried about it. You know what I mean? 42 health. There we go. Okay. We have a safety net of sorts. I feel like it was one of these guys that killed Royal, too. No, I think it was the last Sage, maybe. It was one of these guys, though. But Royal is back with a vengeance. Kabuto, wow. All of our starters now have made a made an appearance in some form. Fortunately, I don't have grass here. So, Bagels, buddy, you want to... Uh, what is our choice here? I don't even know what Silvire does. Uh, let me check Silvire's moves. Poison Gas and Tackle. Bagels, you, you should be able to eat something, right? If you die, though, I will honestly be heartbroken. Don't, please. Harden. Okay, thank God. We're not We're not scared of that. Thundershock, Bagels! Do it, do it! One shot him. There we go. That's right. Strut your stuff, girl. Guy, I keep... I just... You're just so cute. Ooh, Royal hit level 7. I think Royal has surpassed his former self. That's right, buddy. I told you. This time, it's different. This time, it's different. You know what? So much so, in fact, that I'm not... It's only 7 health, though. Do I really waste a potion? You know what? No, we got a big pearl. I'm not not even chancing it. That 7 health could be the difference between life or death, buddy. I told you, you and me, we're making it to Yamega this time. We are making it. I promise you. Cascoon. Easy, dude. 
Easy XP for a while. We're all just gonna eat this up. What, what do you have, Harden? Okay, it might take a little while. A really long time. I, I think it only knows Harden. Yep, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime now. There we go, sick stuff. 108 XP for doing absolutely nothing. Beautiful. Pupitar. Oh, poor chop. Oh. You were start. You, he had grown on me so much, too. That's the tragic part. Uh, who do we send out here? Prism, sure. Well, what are you? I don't have any water moves, though. If, if I had water, you would die so fast. But I don't. All right. Get in there, Prism. Show them how it's done. We ain't scared. We're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. That's funny because in the Hoenn region, where you find Bagon, it's in the Sandstorm place. If I'm not mistaken. Well, then that's where you find Trapinch. Do you find Bagon there? I don't think you do. Or maybe you do. It's just that... Yeah, because their version different, right? It's been too long. It has been too long. Oh, get crit. Get out of my face, man. Royal level 8, though. Ooh. Get out of here, Krith Jane. Oh my god, Sage. Like, you wouldn't believe it. And here's a rival. La -ba 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 -da -da -da. Hmm. I used escape rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what item we have here. A spooky plate. That's not going to do us much favors. I don't want to know what else we've missed on. We, we missed out on. Speaking of trap inch. Speaking of trap inch. How the heck are you? Uh, do I bother fighting you? Sure. What do you have? You have a bite? Easy. Nicely done, Royal. You did take 10 damage, though. Listen, I want you to get your revenge on this sage. Because it, it was one of these sages. I want to say it was the last one. So regardless... You, you've gone through most of them. I'm saving just out of habit because I feel like a little kid. But, uh, Sage, you're going down by the hands of Royal. He's back. He's pissed, honestly. Like, I'd stay out of his way. Okay. Dude's kind of crazy. So good of you to come here. Blah, 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 blah. What do you have? Do your worst. Lapras. Not bad. Not bad, old timer. Probably good enough to make me switch out of Royal at the get-go. Bagels is weak. Oh, shoot. Whoops. Midnight! You're gonna soak up whatever move maybe it has. Yeah? Oh, growl. Oh, yeah, you're gonna eat that up. You're gonna eat that up. Water gun? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Jeez. All right, well, we're gonna be here a little while. Actually, this lap is starting to do quite a bit of damage. I need to heal up. Which leaves us at one potion. But I'm playing cautious this time. I'm not losing anybody to some stupid death. No. No, 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 no. Water gun? Fine. Alright. One more peck. The peck to end them all. Okay. The, the next peck to end them all. Alright, there we go. Screw that, man. Give me something, Yamma. Royal can fight. Royal grew to level 9? There we go. He's already climbing the ranks, man. Kabuto? Um, another Kabuto. Seeing a lot of Kabutos. Bagels should be fine here. Wait, is this his ace? Is this his level 10? That was level 7, right? It is his ace. You better... Oh, you should be fine here. It's not that bad. Why in the world do you know Absorb? Oh, yeah, that did nothing. Thundershock's gonna blow him to oblivion. Oh, almost, actually, almost. That's fine. Absorb again. Do your worst. I'm kind of happy we don't have Kabuto. Kind of really happy, actually. Yeah, get out of here. We got a solid team. This one, I feel, this is the run, guys. Bagels getting so much XP. Bagels again, our highest level, carrying us. Poochiana, there's something Royal can take. Yeah, this is your time to shine, buddy. Don't take no for an answer. You get in there. Shomu's boss. Quick attempt. What do you got? How? Oh. Oh. Barely did anything. All right, sick. Royal, another 82 XP. Boom, baby! 
That's right, Royal got his revenge. How does it feel, buddy? Hopefully great. Obtained TM70. Um, what is it this time? Sleep talk. Won't be using that, but thanks, I guess. Now we gotta get through all these encounters again. Probably just run- Oh, a Chingling! Oh, that would've been so cool! I can't even hit you! So we're just gonna dip. <laughs> oh, we missed. It's so funny. As soon as you don't want to get encounters, you get all the encounters. That's how it always works. Where am I going? Get up the ladder there, Mr. Fruit. Okay, I am pretty happy with our progress. We haven't lost any Pokemon. Now, granted, we did kill one of our encounters. Whoops. But besides that... Oh! i so dumb, too. I even thought about it. We still have our headbutt encounter. So, why don't... We save that for next episode. Oh, the suspense. Let me go ahead and heal up. Ba -ba -da -da. We got our crispy team here. Uh, pretty happy about it. So by the time we reach next gym, I'll have everybody probably at least level 11. Maybe 12. 12 on everybody seems a little overkill, but maybe we'll do it anyway. Again, I just want to get past this. I want to get to the point where Dragon's or uh, Dragon's Rage won't absolutely decimate my team. Um, so far, though, I'm feeling good. I like our lineup there. I, well, Silvire and Pickles are, are up in the air. Maybe I'll grow to love Pickles. I don't know, but I, I'll need to know what his moveset is. But everyone else, no, I'm down. I am down, and it is nice to have Prism on our team. Feels like we always have something to, to fall back on, you know? So thanks, everybody, for sticking with me. Thanks, everybody, for watching this series, showing it love, liking, commenting. I appreciate all that. And hopefully supporting our second run. Uh, no tainted run for us. No, we lost. We held that out. Now we're back and better than ever. Royal's back and better than ever, I hope. Excuse me. You all join us on this journey. With that said, have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell. well.